Green Ray is working towards eliminating methane slip in LNG shipping and looks towards a future of decarbonized marine transport. With around 90% of world trade being transported by sea, the maritime industry is a significant source of greenhouse gas emissions in Europe. Alternative fuels are the key to reducing shipping emissions in line with EU 2050 targets. Liquefied natural gas, or LNG, is the most widely deployed alternative fuel on the market and has a range of benefits over conventional fuel. It produces 24% less carbon than oil and emits almost no soot, dust or particulate matter. However, it faces one main challenge that threatens to undermine its benefits – methane slip. Methane slip is the escape of unburned methane from marine engines into the atmosphere. Once in the atmosphere, methane is an 84 times more potent greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide over a 20-year timescale. The Green Ray project is developing three technologies for use on low-pressure dual-fuel engines, the most common type of LNG engine, to tackle methane slip. These are being developed through rigorous testing and evaluations of emissions, beginning with studies to measure and compare methane emissions in existing new-build vessels. Our first tests have already shown significant reductions in methane slip through the implementation of a new combustion concept in a four-stroke engine system. There are uh, two technologies being developed for low-pressure dual-fuel engines. One of them is for four-stroke engines and the other one is for two-stroke engines. And then there is a third technology with, which is catalytic after-treatment system to uh, reduce the methane slip. Development of the on-engine technology will use a patented LNG injection system. We are looking into improving the combustion system that can uh, help in uh, better utilizing the thermal energy and transforming it into mechanical energy. This will reduce the likelihood of unburned fuel escaping from the engine and as part of the exhaust. In green rate, it will be piloted uh, on board a vessel, a real vessel, in addition to lab testing, of course and also there will be simulations uh, what kind of impact it will have uh, whilst uh, introduced on a, on a wider fleet. They will go through intense testing and experimentation to optimize their efficiency on both new vessels and retrofit projects. So the current shipping fleet will benefit as much as future vessels. The catalytic after-treatment system can be combined with both of these engine technologies and will be applied to a ship's exhaust. So, so it's a two-stage two, two stage process. We developed a system that is sulfur resistant. So, so one part of the system uh, takes care of the sulfur. The, the other part of the system takes care of the, the methane. And, and simplistically, we're uh, converting the methane into to CO2, which has a much lower uh, environmental footprint than the methane. That would be, of course, a huge benefit for the vessels that are operating already today, and also for the new vessels, since uh, all these technologies that are being developed are also then fully capable of utilizing LNG fuel composed of, for example, for bio-based or from synthetic sources. The best technology is the technology that will be implemented. So it has to be, let's say, in the balance between uh, reducing emission, but also not increasing the cost for the owner. The project's goal is for these technologies to be fully prepared for large-scale deployment at the end of its five-year timeline marking a step on the road to a future of emission-free transport.